Right, okay. Uh, good morning. So, uh, it's a market update. Uh, let's take a look at the technicals. I think the market is uh, clearly trying to go up. But uh, like I said, that uh, it is the momentum is still very very strong. Okay, the market still keeps trying to go up. It is still above the trend line. Okay, um, but it's somehow uh, I look at this and I see that it's not really able to fly off. Uh, okay, so the reason for this is because right for this to fly off the treasury rates uh, need to fall and for the treasury rates uh, i'm talking about the short term duration uh, uh, to fall uh, they need to cut the fed rate right otherwise is not worth it uh, basically uh, buying the s p 500 spy is not worth it because it's it's not as safe as a uh, cash and you know you get a you can get a earnings per share yield of 4.1 percent however if you invest in uh, uh treasuries now you get about 5.1 percent which is quite good you know right 5.1 percent is quite decent so if uh, nobody is going to fault you if you go into the six months or the or the one year uh treasury rates okay so So I'm just saying, uh, nobody is going to say that, ah, you stupid, la, you go treasury rates route. That's the stupidest thing you can do, not really. La. Take a look at it. 5.52, this is quite decent. This is good. Um, this is already uh, quite amazing if one year. So they're expecting one cut la, for the one year one. Okay, so at the end of the day, uh, what, what do you expect from the Fed is actually written here. In one month, they are not expecting the Fed to do anything. In three months, no, so not expecting the Fed to do anything. In six months, also not really much expecting the Fed to do anything. In one year, at most, uh, roughly give or take one one cut, right? Okay, one cut, two cuts around there. In uh, two years, roughly three cuts, right? Maybe two cuts and a half. Okay, in three years, then it's three cuts, right? So what do I think about this? The market is clearly not expecting the Fed to cut anytime soon. Okay, so when you don't expect the Fed to cut anytime soon, what the hell are you expecting? The market is expecting the USA to keep printing money in order to inflate away their debt. So these stunts are... Uh, uh, because you see from October 2023, money supply was 26.29, okay, 20.6 trillion. And now it's 21 trillion, okay. So they are still printing money, okay. So a lot of people say, oh, they're just going to resume this line, but then transpose it here, right. Okay, so that's a bit crazy, lah. okay. But yeah, what do you want to do? Because the US, uh, the structure is not as... The social structure, they cannot take a recession, you know, a bad recession. Because if this were to come down, it's going to cause a recession. They cannot tahan. Okay. They cannot tahan just a three trillion. Okay. They are very weak. Right. Because the Democrats versus Republicans already very fight. Um, not trying to bring any politics in this, but it's just, it is what it is. Lah. Okay. Next. Uh... So yesterday you saw the job numbers. Huh? The job numbers huh, push the TNX up. I was a bit surprised also. Push it by about uh, 15 uh, basis. Lah. Okay. So from 4.3, this thing go up to 4.43. Is it good or bad? Does it really matter whether it's good or bad? <sighs> Does it really matter? Okay. So at the end of the day, you make your bet, right? Uh, I can't. I can't tell you where the market is going to go like, for sure, right? Okay, I can't tell you where the market is going to go for sure. Uh, until I get a feel of what the Fed and the Treasury is going to do, like, right? 
if the if the treasury and the fed they're gonna keep printing uh, i think the inflation is still gonna be tough lah, to handle okay however if they start to you know what let's not print any more money we repent and just keep it straight lah. so at least i think uh, inflation will slowly start to drop lah, but not instant lah. right slowly start to drop but not instant lah. okay so i think um you shouldn't expect uh, any uh, cuts uh. okay so i'm just saying for the next six months uh, don't expect any cuts uh. okay i know it's a bit uh like a bit uh, pessimistic but i don't think you should expect any cut so how we die idea uh. we buy we buy link uh, and all that wow we die idea link if you hold it uh, you gonna get about seven, about eight percent you know the interest rate so i don't really see uh eight percent is still bigger than five and a half percent right okay so yeah at the end of the day it's only a two and a half percent difference right i know and some of you say oh it's not worth the risk like robert you know Maxwell just buy the thing uh, five and a half percent is guaranteed. Uh. This one is not really guaranteed. However, this one also, um, link read, uh, I would say, you know, isn't there some kind of inflation hedge uh, into link read? I don't know, but yeah, I know the, the, the property prices in Hong Kong, they are primed to fall, uh, but the rent is primed to fall, but there's supposed to be some kind of inflation protection, protection uh, when you buy, when you own buildings, right? Okay. Anyway, that's the way I see it. Lah. Okay. Next, uh, what I don't like about uh, 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 this uh, is that uh, the market is going up so high that it's not worth it anymore to buy. Uh, but the government still push and 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 push, right? So, I don't like it. Lah. Okay. So, I, I feel that the market is like a bit topish it's like I'm, I'm reluctant to go in because the risk to reward profile is not that nice anymore okay the profile is not favorable for me to go in anymore so i'm not going in the market right now instead if this goes up to five thousand five i'm gonna buy put option spread to cover my ass like in case something happens right okay i'm gonna short the market if this goes to five thousand five because i'm scared something will happen insurance I'm not gonna short it with like 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 ninety percent of my money. I'm gonna short this. No 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 no. Just buy some insurance, a very small amount, right? A very small amount of insurance. Okay. I I I generally don't like those big bets lah. Okay. Margins and all that. I am. Nah, I'm I'm too old for that. Okay. So uh, Alibaba. I'm not gonna talk about specific stocks lah this time. Okay. So yesterday we talked about Hang Seng Index, the numbers, uh, the export numbers, everything look amazing and good, but then this thing is still lagging. You down there like blur blur, what the F is going on, right? Okay, but then you put the Shanghai, then you put the index in, and then let's put a red color here. Then you notice, uh, uh, let's pull it from uh, 2024, uh, around there, the December there. Okay, you notice if you buy December Shanghai and you buy a Hong Kong, uh, you notice that it's actually going down, man, Shanghai. So this thing, of course, is going to follow Shanghai a bit, lah, right? So if you buy this somewhere about December, lah, oh, then uh, you not, A, you notice that this is going down. So this should also go down, lah, oh, okay? And you also notice that uh, it corrected too much. Uh, it, it went up too much, uh, basically, the Hong Kong one. The Hang Seng one went up a lot, you know, right? It went up until 18.54% uh, uh, from the bottom here, from three, this one go up a lot. So, meanwhile, the Shanghai one didn't really go up a lot. It go up sideways, then go up. So, the Hong Kong one uh, actually went up like fucking nuts. Uh. What does that mean? Any ideas? Very simple. Even the Chinese, they are not confident in their own market. Okay, even the Chinese, they are not really say, oh, I'm confident this is going, uh, you know, going to recover. The Chinese is a lot of pessimism, okay. In other words, the government, uh, 
they let the market fall too much uh, until the, 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 the citizens like, look, I'm not going to buy this. Uh, it's not worth it. Uh, you know? The government won't cover me because this is not part of the social or, or their policy right, to help out uh, the shareholders. Right? Okay? But they don't understand. Uh, if they don't help out uh, and they keep letting it fall, uh, I already told you what's going to happen. Right? Okay? There's going to be a massive uh, loss of faith uh, okay? in the bond system. Right, in the bond system, so they cannot even sell bonds later. How you understand? Or? It's not who cares about the stock market, lah, right? But what about the bond system? What the, 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 the companies they cannot they cannot get loans? What happened? The idea, lah. right? Okay, so this part I think the government start to realize oh, shit, we fucked up, man. Holy shit, we fucked up really bad. Okay, you know what? We better fix this lah, because this is somewhat related to the bond market, right. Because a loss of faith in the stock market will lead to a loss of faith in the bond market also. Right? Because people don't believe in the stocks. Then, if I don't believe in the stocks, that means I don't believe that the stock is going to perform well. If I don't believe the stock is going to perform well, I think that they are not going to be able to pay their debts. If I don't believe they're going to pay, be, be able to pay their debts, why the F, F should I buy their bonds? Right? So the bond market is going to come down. So when the bond market comes down, what happens? A lot of bankruptcies, a lot of chapter 11 right later, or even chapter 7, because they cannot get the bonds to renew, but the company is still doing okay. So what happened? There's going to be a widespread disaster for the government and for the people. So they got to fix this somehow, you know. And this is why they are fixing it now. So I think the government will keep continuing to fix it, otherwise they die. Right? So it's a matter of life and death. Lah. Okay, now it's a matter of life and death because... You know, I think uh, if they fail, the enemy is going to come and get them and then, you know, kill them, right? Take use of this opportunity, okay? Uh, it's like that one, okay? This is what I believe, lah. okay? So I think this is going to, going to continue, going to go up, and the government is going to keep supporting it, okay? Going to keep the oil rolling, going to keep the system rolling. They don't want to, they don't want it until the bond market frees up. When the bond market frees up, you get a shit show, basically. It's a very messy show. Okay? So, this, if the bond market freezes up, this is going to drop maybe to maybe 8,000. Like okay? So, this is why the government now, uh, you know what, we got to take this seriously, man. Okay? And I think they told the old guys, lah. they told the old guys on top, right? The old guys, the old fogies on top, the boomers, lah. And the boomers, they said that the young people must have told the boomers, hey, if you don't settle this, uh, we are all fucked, you know. You know, it's not a joke, man. It's the stock market is not there just because it's a stock market. It represents the faith of the people, of the government. Right. And the companies, if the companies of the faith of the people, of the market towards the stock, the companies, if people got no faith to buy the stock, do you think they will have the faith to lend them money, to buy buy the bonds? No. If they cannot buy the bonds, they cannot. Who is going to lend them money? So the government, the old fogies must have thought, oh shit, we fucked up. We cannot do this. Okay. So this is not about uh, social uh, uh, socialism anymore. Okay. We have to prop it up so that the people don't suffer that much. Ah, right. We don't cause a, a, a nationwide disaster, nationwide economic disaster. So they try to prop it up. <laughs> now they try to prop it up. Okay. Uh, but I think it's a bit too late. <laughs> the damage has been done. La. Okay. So there's a lot of damage and there's a lot of fear in the market regarding regulation and such. So I think they over-regulated. Right. The government over-regulated and they acted too slow. Okay, so they were funds that were actually shorting the mark, the, the, the stocks, right? Like Ningbo fund. And I think there's a lot of other funds out there that are shorting the uh, Hang Seng and the, uh, all the others. Okay, so it's a con it's a coordinated attack uh, on China. But China down there, the government still down there don't know. Like blur, blur, like blur, blur. And then still whack their own companies. Then now they start to realize, oh shit. <laughs> right, I told you it's like the analogy that the private is holding a shield blocking against the enemy's uh, bullets. But behind, uh, the sergeant take the thing. Uh, Why well, you disobey my order? Uh, I'm going to regulate you. Uh, show who is the boss. Uh, to keep whacking the shoulder. The, the, the private. But the private is blocking bullets for you, you know. Okay. Finally, uh, they, they realize that, oh shit, the general look at it and say, hey, sergeant, uh, what are you doing? Why you whack the guy? Uh? 
You crazy. Yeah. He's blocking the bullets, you know. Enemy is attacking us. We should be united. Right? Why are you still disciplining the guy? You see our... Okay? So, what happened? So now they have to prop it up. They have to boost the, the market now. Now it's the reverse. Right? They realize that, okay, if I keep doing this, there will be no one else to hold the shield for me, right? The sergeant have to hold the shield later, right? The general will have to hold the shield later. In other words, the state will have to prop up the, in their own economy. So it's no longer reliant upon the companies, the private sector. Do you know what's going to happen? Even worse, right? It's, it's going to be even worse market and people are going to run away because it's less open, the market. More regulation and less open. Okay, there's going to be, I think, a massive exodus uh, if, if they, that, that happens. Like a lot of failures of the privates and then the government take over. Then it's like all the, all the companies become state-owned. Then it's like, okay, that's going to be even worse. So they realize that and they start that, you know what? We have to stop this, right? And we got to prop it up, okay? Stop all these regulations and all these stock. We got to fix this problem, okay? Now the most important thing, stable is stock market. Stabilize the bond market. Right, I believe okay. A lot of people is uh, a bit doubtful. I mean, I say this that we are still in an uptrend. So, whenever we are still in this channel, we are still in an uptrend. Okay, so a lot of people here are starting to doubt. So, do not doubt. Right, we are still in an uptrend. So, when do you stop doubting? When you make lower lows, okay. So, there's still a long way uh, before it comes down here. This is a lower low, this is the lows, right? When you make a lower low. 16,200 uh. then that is when I'll be scared right okay so two points uh, that, that I'll be scared first that is my morning sign it breaks out of the channel okay second it goes lower than this or it touches this okay it touches this uh, 16,200 why is it scary to that that means going sideways I don't like sideways okay it means going sideways okay I want this to go up. So if this breaks up on the downside and touches this, mm, I'll start thinking again. But I'll still be holding it. Lah. Okay. So next is the Hang Seng Index. Uh, Hang Seng Tech, sorry. Hang Seng Tech is showing a pretty clear sign of... Uh, Hang Seng Tech is showing a pretty clear sign of a normal upwards momentum. There is nothing to say. It is very near the 50 MA. It is very near the 150 MA. It is very near the channel uh, band. So it is very near three support levels, three critical support levels, right? Okay. I'm going to draw it out for you all. Uh. First is this. Right, the previous high is a support level, okay. Second is the 50 MA. Third is the uh, I think the closer one is the bottom band, uh, huh? the bottom band rather than this. So there are three uh, critical, actually four critical support levels. Uh. We are very near four critical support levels. So is this a buy or not? This is a buy. Hang Seng Tech as a technical setup is a buy. So where's the stop loss? Stop loss is below the channel. Right? Slightly below the channel. Maybe it's going to be about 7.52, I guess. Okay, 7.52. Right? Where do I take profit? Profit should be somewhere here. Right? On top here. 8.7, 8.5, around there. Okay. So Robert is Hang Seng Tech a buy? Yep, it is a buy. Okay. I think that's all. I covered almost everything really. Right. Uh yeah, I covered almost everything really. Except Ling I didn't cover much on Ling Read. Okay. Oh Hang Long, Hang Long. Hang Long is one of my favorite stock now. Lah. Okay. So Hang Long yesterday it went down a bit, so I bought a bit. Uh, 
what do I think about it? Uh, it's okay lah. I bought a seven point four three yesterday. That's nice. Uh. I bought it at seven point four three. I didn't buy here. I I put my pin here a bit too be below. Uh. But then I buy a bit here lah. Uh. Let's see how it goes. Uh. If it comes down here again, I'm gonna buy some more lah. Uh. Okay. It's it's not over yet. You know. I think this one. I look at it. Hey, maybe it's not over yet uh. Quite scary, man. The Hang Long one. Okay. Let's see how it goes lah. Uh. Okay. But I saw the Hang Long interview. I saw the Ronnie Chan. Uh. I think the Ronnie is very smart, uh, very visionary, very smart, and um, I don't know whether the company is in good hands or not. But I think the father will be there to guide uh, the son, uh, right? Uh, which is he thinks right or wrong. So the Hangzhou one, I know they are still investing in it, but I think uh, this year is going to come online, right? The pipeline product is going to be ready. So I think it's not really much spending uh, anymore lah, for the Hangzhou product. So I think you all need to relax on it. Lah. I bucked up the wrong tree. Okay. Nevertheless, uh, this is not a technical buy. This is more or less actually a, a, a fundamental buy. In other words, you buy because it's cheap, not you buy because it's, the signal is going to go up. So you buy this because it's cheap. Okay, uh, 7.43, uh, the thing, I think the, 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 the yield is about 10 and a half. So I think it's worth it. Lah. Okay, uh, 10 and a half, 10%, I think this is still okay. And this is only if you believe in the future of the Chinese property market, right? Because 70% of Hang Long's revenue comes from the China, okay? It doesn't come, but this is a luxury, oh. don't forget. Huh? So you must remember, oh, Hang Long is a China player, okay? It's not like uh, Hong Kong. So you ask me, Robert, uh, which one got more potential to uh, double or triple or Hang Long? Hang Long definitely got potential to double. Okay. I think link read, uh, you all think can go up by what? Two times? Uh? No, uh, you buy read at time, uh, you go up like 10%, 20%, you happy. Uh. Okay. So, yeah, just just telling you, uh, okay. I'm just telling you. Uh. Just in case you you down there, you you, you, you are expecting like, wow, can double like the C limited. Wow. Wow, oh, can double like what 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 this or that nah. So I'm just telling you ah, or like GameStop like that nah. No 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 no. But this one got more potential lah, doubling. Okay. How can it double? Uh, it just grow. This needs needs to grow as the projects mature. You take the rent that it's gonna grow the DPU. Keep growing the DPU. Then as the situation in China become better, they are not gonna take ten and a half. Maybe they're gonna take eight and a half lah. So the price is gonna go up, right? Price has to go up in accordance to this okay so i think that's it lah for today uh i appreciate uh, the thing if there's any questions do not hesitate to ask in the comment section lah. thank you very much